Yeah. Okay. So here was here was the end of tour prank, right? So blow. Okay. And under, it's got that ooh, giant cowbell. I cow like it. You, people are still right? doing end of tour pranks. I haven't done, I haven't been a part oh, of one yeah. of those in so long. All right. What? Yeah. Okay. You tell me yours. You tell me yours. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, so we didn't feel like we had the rights to said, you know, participation yet, right? We're new here, so we're just going to roll with whatever these guys come up with, right? Mm -hmm. What I didn't anticipate was that as the little fish, we got all three of them to prank us. <laughs> it was like all in one set. That's some but then bullying they all had, out there. It was, yeah, it was pretty ruthless. Uh, <laughs> they took, they okay, so nothing more. Um, a tray use prank was first. We had... Some kind of crazy uh, branded like material. My my guitar player wears a onesie because he just likes fun. Well, they stole all our onesies and they put them up alongside of the Atreyu uh, banner. So they did the okay. backdrop thing and they had all of my onesies strung up behind us. I was like, oh, that's cute, you know? Yeah, you know, haha, very funny. Uh, well, then nothing more came up and did their prank and they took my drummer's drum kit while we were playing. Like just, <laughs> just walked piece off by piece. With the drum <laughs> yeah, piece by piece. <laughs> That's a that's that's a classic. That's an oldie but a goodie. That's an oldie but a goodie. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. That well, it happened to us, and we managed to uh, to somehow stumble our way through the end of the set. But then now we got to participate. We we got our cool kid card, and we could participate in the other band's pranks. And uh, one of them was that the production manager from Nothing More ordered like a hundred of these cowbells and okay. it, and individual sticks and then just gave them to everyone and so we bombarded the stage during blow and we were all standing up there with our <laughs> with our cowbells <laughs> just trolling them you know it was it was fun and uh and i was like this is a moment also um full disclosure i hate cowbells it's it's like the <laughs> How worst do you hate a cowbell i know it's like my my bandmates in front of me okay all what the time about what about when vinnie did it in the breakdown of reinventing the steel Oh, well, it's, I mean, it's Vinny. Yeah. He gets to do what he wants. You know, you gotta, that, you gotta... when I heard that, <laughs> I mean, like whatever year it was, like 2000, 2001, whenever it was, it was like, a breakdown with a cowbell. Are you fucking kidding me? And it sounds hard. That's that's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Vinny, it was impressive. Yeah, because of the thwunk. Right. You don't take the thwunk seriously, but. That's part of the reason know. why what Vinny I mean, did was so it was impressive. Very serious on on Saturday Night Live with uh, Will Ferrell. I mean, that's true. That that's was true. that was a dead serious skit. I don't know if anyone at home realizes that was not supposed to be comical at all. That was very, very real. I don't know why I went off on that. Um, it was a real, real thing that happened. Yes, <laughs> yeah, and he was, was very really. serious about it, which mm -hmm. we just all found hilarious. And in my opinion, that's because of the thwunk. But hey, I honor the thwunk now. I have one uh, wonderful from Atreyu. Thank you guys for uh, onboarding us in the appropriate way to do this end of tour shenanigans, which was so fun. <laughs> <laughs>